G'day, g'day, Neil here, playing me some Democracy 3. Now, I say Democracy, but really that's not going to be the case today. The goal is to get re-elected on the platform of being a disgustingly right-wing police state, locking up pretty much everybody and uh, making the rich rich. So, let's jump into the options. So, what we've done is we've enabled assassinations, because if we don't, we'll probably survive forever. Um, disabled both political honeymoon and political capital, because, well, I mean, we don't need honeymoon if capital's gone, but capital uh, allows us to make changes to the game, and, sorry, to policies. And in this case, we're going to throw most of them out the window. We're going to set up a whole bunch of right wing ones and throw out most of the, the greens, environmentals, and the uh, educational policies. And we've got transitions off uh, just for this recording. So let's start. Uh, UK is as good as any. I mean, we've got randomized start on to reduce some of the predictability of these countries. All right. So our party, what have we got here? Socialist, peoples. I mean, all good, disgusting fascist parties have got catchy names. So they are completely electable. So. Let's see, the free people's freedom party. Yeah, that's got a nice ring to it. How could you not vote for that? The free people's freedom party, promoting freedom. And obviously, in a smear campaign, well, by myself, obviously, the opposition needs to have a, this, that you just cannot vote for these guys under this name. The, uh, the, what, the, what we got here? Justice Party, National Unity, that sounds a little bit, uh, Nationalist there, Independence, no. Now, this, these are, these are actually a little bit likable. Even the, uh, the Democratic Conservatives sound a little bit likable. Okay, let's see, the Nickelback Fan Club Party, there we go. Positively unelectable. Okay, so term limit, none, term length, four. And we've got compulsory voting off for this one. I mean, it's a default for the UK, but uh, in this case, hopefully a little bit of political apathy will come into play. Okay, so the Free People's Freedom Party and the Nickelback Fan Club Party. So, buying votes, lobbying ministers, starting game. Congratulations on your election victory. That shouldn't actually be surprising, the uh, Free People's Freedom Party. Okay, so the GDP and unemployment are, um, I mean, pretty ordinary. Yeah. Uh, health, crime, education, poverty, eh, kind of on the mark. Let's go. Okay, so we're looking at a pretty good spread to start. Um, I guess those uh, random starts uh, were in policies. So let's start by jacking some easy easy taxes. So I like to boost taxes on cigarettes and alcohol. I mean, it's always a negative effect anyway, these cigarettes and alcohol. Stay away from drugs, kids. But um, it's also a very good way to make uh, some quick cash. Oh, we're in surplus to start. Fantastic. So, I mean, a low corporation tax is... Oh, we got to please the capitalists, so let's stay away from the corporation tax to start. But basically, we want, we want to um, tax highly anything that people have fun with. So we can uh, feed it into these expensive schemes, like border controls. Let's jack that up all the way. Rent a scans for everybody. Military spending. Overwhelming forces. Can we really afford that right now? No. I, th I think we'll leave the military for now. Foreign aid. That's complete enough. <laughs> Let's just cancel that straight up. Oh, it is quite popular though. See, a good tactic actually. You can you can keep a policy there to keep people happy and just keep the uh, just keep the spend expenditure all the way down. One billion, one billion quid though. Bloody foreign aid. Uh, also firearms, handgun laws, total ban. You got to remember when you're creating a police force. Uh, sorry, a police state. Uh, and a police force, I suppose. You can't arm the populace, they'll fight back. Let's jam everybody into very uncomfortable cells. Alcohol law. Um, 
I think strong restrictions. No, I, I don't. I don't think there's a huge problem with, with the alcohol here. Actually, narcotics. See, if we just um, you but if you bump up the narcotics, you can tax them. Actually, so let's try and do that straight away. There is a. Where was it? Recreational drugs tax. Now this is. There we go. So we, we allow it, but we tax the ever living hell out of it. So, I mean, a passive populace is a compliant populace. Police force through the roof. Intelligence services. Okay, so this is one of the important things here. We actually really need to track who the hell wants to kill us. And this does happen quite frequently if you uh, take this route, the horrible right-wing route. But community... what are we doing here? Community policing. Working with the community rather than attempting to control it. That doesn't sound like we want what we want to do at all. CCTV cameras. Catch them. Catch them commies in the act. Helping each other out. Jury trial. Jury trial is, in my opinion, a completely stupid way of determining law. I mean, yes, it's it's got the democratic point, but it becomes a sideshow, and people who are otherwise un completely uneducated in law get a say. That doesn't seem right. Implement armed police. Set machine guns for everybody. So let's just focus on law and order for now. So detention without trial. Another fantastic, un let's Guantanamo Bay style. Little subtle jab. Oh, here's another great one. Legalized prostitution, but. We have it very low. ID cards. This should actually help us as well. Any foreigners already here? Racial profiling. Prisoner tagging. Wiretapping. Here's an excellent one that we need. Universal monitoring of all people. Secret courts. Another great one. So what, what's the cost actually looking at here? Are we still in surplus? I don't know, this hasn't changed for us yet. I mean, we also need to get the debt right down because some of these need to go up. We can't have them all going down. Private prisons, no. So, torture usage. Nice <laughs> little <laughs> waterboarding icon there. Preemptive waterboarding for everybody. Internet censorship. Extreme cases, request, some sites blocked, and all traffic monitored. It's not traffic blocked, traffic monitored. It's for your own safety after all. Death penalty. I'm not a fan of the death penalty. But I th think we probably need it for most crimes. Holy shit. How can anybody be happy with that? For most crimes? That makes them... Oh, that's, that seems a bit of an oversight, surely. National service. Welfare. Now, actually, welfare, as weird as it sounds, is actually important for us now because we need to... I mean, welfare fraud department. Let's see. Under government investigation. So we actually need to keep the economy running well. Um, to Obviously, to offset a lot of the costs from over here in the um, law and order section, but also to at least bring some people in the middle because you do have the income earners and the capitalists becoming happy. Uh, Patriots will be happy overnight with all of the horrible shit which we've just done there. Agriculture subsidies, we need that for food. Clean energy subsidies. Pisses off the capitalists. Okay, so we can keep it because it's popular, but we can take the cost right down to one billion. And then if it's still rubbish, then we'll uh, scrap it completely. Pollution controls. Now this is this is the same deal, really. So we'll just bring that right down. Allow the capitalists to operate freely over here. Technology backwater, right? So we've got a problem with our research. So that's probably Jack Science funding a little. I mean, this seems a little bit backwards. Actually, we should probably jack it a lot. There we go. And what's this one? Oh, this should be feeding into. Yeah, technology backward is the problem here. Wow, really? Creationism only? Really pissing off the liberals. 
I really want to get out of this technology backwater. It is really horrible. Um, but to piss off the religion, uh, sorry, the religious types is not what we want to do at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look at some more policies here. Tax. Tax is what we need. Let's just quickly check if there's a fun tax in here. Junk food tax does sound like a fun tax. No, internet tax. Oh, look, that's such a small, small income. It's almost not worth it at all. So, we should look to... Small business grants, uh, ironically, actually pisses off capitalists. No, ta no tax breaks, fantastic. Uh, every other time I've attempted this uh, right-wing, Iron Fist-style model, I've started with into, uh, foreign investor tax breaks. And people are very unhappy with that. Um, yeah, so... I don't think there's anything here for, for us. Robotic research grants might help. Tax shelters. Here we go. Wealthy, very happy. The socialist, socialists. And overall quality is down. Alright, GDP is actually up. Technology backwater down. Oh, look at that. Technology backwater disaffecting it. GDP. So really, it's just pissing off the socialists. That is exactly what we want to do. Um, what's our security? Actually, what is our security briefing? Nothing here. The Freedom League! They should be right in hand. Uh, hand in hand with us. Right in hand? What, what does that even mean? Water controls. So, we should probably... Uh, what was that? Oh, foreign policy, of course. Of course. Citizenship tests. Bam! Maximum. Who won the cricket in 1981? I want to know everything. Import tariffs. That is... Does this actually help us? Capitalists. That is... That is fantastic. Oh. No import tariffs helps capitalists. I would have thought that preventing... Oh, this is not... That's not put that in at all. I would have thought that preventing foreign uh, imports would be uh, helpful. That's a bit of a... That's a bit counterintuitive. Okay. So... Recycling. Does this help us? Oh, Let's just go. Oh, shit. Oh, look, I didn't really want to cancel uh, recycling. I don't know what I was thinking. But, uh, I mean, it's gone now. Let's just... Oh, yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, I might go just quickly grab that back. There's recycling. Bloody hell. Recycling centers. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So let's just quickly check out our expenditure. Expenditure? No, no, no. The uh, focus groups I was looking for. That's a amazing outfit, Marcus. Um, great. Approval zero. Sixty-six point seven four. Generally supportive. Um, I guess this hasn't updated. That will change very fast. Oh, and curiously, actually. We are sitting in the socialist liberal, so we probably will be up here somewhere. Okay, that's what I wanted. So, global, econ global economy is on a downswing, so this is really going to hit us. We, we need to pick up this GDP quite quickly. It seems to be doing okay. Okay, let's end this quarter and see, see how we did. Crime is down. Poverty up. Crime is way down. Debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payments from people who owe large sums of money. Well, look, I'm going to allow them to operate. If you don't want it to be, if you don't want to be harassed by scary people at your doorstep, don't get into debt. Just have more money. Easy, easy. Gordon Brown. We spend more on cows than the poor. Well. Yeah, probably. Let's see. We didn't actually have a look at education at all. Now, keeping people dumb is good for control, but awful for the economy. Who have we actually pissed off here? All the right people. The socialists, liberals, the youths. 
You damn yards! And the religious. Okay, so state employees, conservatives, wealthy. We might actually be able to do this. What's the what's the threat look like? Threat assessment. That must be. Security vector is poor. I some of these actually took a couple of quarters to come in. Yeah, implement yeah, look at that, it's nearly a year to bring this in. So we really need to do this immediately. Okay, so we're probably looking at greater uh, security next quarter. Are we surplus? Still in surplus. Debt is is going down. I feel like we should actually jack a little on rail subsidies. Rail subsidies? We want to encourage rail use, I think. Just to get that um, cash, cash, cash running in. Toll roads. That should help us, surely. Commuters, capitalists. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. All the way, baby. All the way. Wow, that just... Traffic. Yeah, let's do this too. Expand the roads all the way. And... Also... That should help us. So I know I say we're trying to sit on the, uh, the middle and the low class, but really we need them to just survive. Organized crime. Um, wow, we are really... All of these secret... That should be gone in a, in a quarter or two. Alcohol abuse fed by alcohol consumption. Of course. Which is fed into by crime, crime, the GDP. Right. So, boosting the tax, I suppose, is another way to cut that down. But, don't... Implementation... <sighs> Another one of these implementation delays. Let's check out some of these. I mean, oh, police trains, I can't believe I forgot that. Everywhere, baby, everywhere. We're gonna eliminate crime. We're gonna be the best. Tasers. Ubiquitous usage of tasers. Mate, if you fight in the wrong direction, you're getting tased. 200 volts, right in the butt cheeks. Where did I... Prisoner tagging. How did we not use that? Yeah, prisoner tagging. If anybody gets them out of one of our secret prisons, they're being found quick smart. You better believe it. General... Here we go. That's what I was looking for. General media. I f forgot it was in law and order. Bam. One billion. Amazing. Okay. This is going to be insane. What are our costs like? Expenditure went up, but so did income. See, that's that extra tax I was talking about. That really helped. The global economy is crashing. But I mean, you do need to spend. You do need to spend in downturns. 